don't make it a car shocker. My name is Jimmy Prater. I'm a car close. That's what I do. I close and close and close and close. I close car deals. And I want you to close and close and close car deals. I want you to close and close and close them. But right now, I want to talk to you, consumer. I want to talk to you. I want to tell you how you buy a car from a dealer. Dealers, listen up. Because I'm going to give away all your secrets. All your secrets of how to buy a car from a dealer. First of all, research your vehicle, customer. Research the vehicle you want to buy. Go to the rental car agencies and rent a vehicle for the day. Rent that vehicle. Make sure that vehicle is the one that's going to be right for your family. Make sure that's the one that your dog can fit in there really easily. And then you have your kids. And then you have yourself. And make sure it's still got class enough so when you take your business people out on luncheons. Okay? So... Make sure that's the right vehicle. Do all your research on that vehicle. Take six months to research that vehicle before buying one. Take as long as you want. Investigate every single part of that vehicle. Research the, vehicle, the, the, the reviews of that vehicle, both from regular consumers and from trade magazines. Oh, don't forget to check to see if there's any recalls on that vehicle, okay? That's rule number one to buy a car. Now, number two, pick out 10 different dealerships that sell that vehicle. Pick them all out and give them a phone call or an email or a text. Try to get the best price out of that, out of that dealer, all 10 of them. Try. I don't care if that dealer is in a 300 mile radius from where you're living but do what you got to do because you still remember if you're buying a new vehicle make sure that you buy the vehicle you like and that you get the best price possible and to get the best price possible you need to shop them you don't need to go to the dealership anymore you don't need to go there and ask for the best price and go through their sales process you just don't need to do that however if you get a phone call right away from that dealer, that dealer should go on top of your list that that's the one you're going to buy a vehicle from. That's the dealer you need to buy from because they called you back right away. They called you back right away and they were excited and they had high energy and they wanted to work with you and they wanted to know why you want you picked that vehicle and why you think that vehicle is going to be the right for, one for you. That they, your needs and wants were the right vehicle. That's the, that's the dealer you want to do business with. That's the one you want to buy that vehicle. That vehicle, even though they're 100 miles away from where you live, that's where you want to go. That's how you buy the car, okay? And tell them, you want to get the right color. Oh, they have the right color at the one that's only 10 miles from your house, but they never called you back? Don't buy from that dealership. Trouble in, trouble out. Or... The other one that's 20 miles away, the other dealer that's 20 miles away called you back but wasn't very enthusiastic about closing the deal. You want to be closed. Us consumers want to be closed, don't we? We want to be closed. We want somebody to tell us that, hey, you are you ready to buy right now? Because if the figures are absolutely agreeable, you own and take delivery of this vehicle? Oh, you don't want to pick up till Saturday? No problem. I'm going to grab some money over the phone from you, and we're going to hold this vehicle? Yes, you're going to hold the vehicle? Oh, my gosh, this is so great. See, guess what? Don't worry about it. You never have to come to the, the dealership 300 miles away to do any service work because the dealer that's only 10 miles from you the dealer that's only 10 miles from you can do all your warranty work. Oh, they'll even do your, your oil changes. But you're saving money driving 100 miles away. See, customers, that's how you buy a vehicle. That's exactly how you buy a vehicle. Whoever calls you back and who's ever motivated to sell you the vehicle. I'm not talking about just being the lowest price. I'm talking about having the courtesy to call you back and have enthusiasm and having the courtesy to ask for the sale because that is a courtesy. If I call an airline to buy a ticket, they say, where's your credit card and this is how much? Are you prepared to buy it right now? Because if not, your seat, you're going to lose it. Okay? 
Asking for the sale over the phone is not a big deal. Oh, here's another thing, consumers. If you saw an ad on your local TV, on local TV, and it was a low, low, low price vehicle, and at the very bottom they had these fine print, and you have an 80-inch television set, and you still can't read it. And you call that dealer up and say, hey, how did you get to that payment? I would like to buy one of those. Well, if they try to sell you on an appointment, back away. See, if a dealer has to use that as an excuse to put an advertisement out, and they think people are that naive. Consumers are not naive. Consumers can do more research. But they want to call the dealer that did the fine print, who's running that ad, just say, hey, so I don't have to do my research for 30 minutes to, a, to an hour can you just tell me, save me some time? Oh, no, you got to come in. You got to come in. You got to come in. That's a bunch of crap. If you got to advertise on TV with fine print, it's not working. It's not working. Okay, all advertising works, but that particular ad is not working unless you're prepared to give them all detail when they phone you. You don't have to have a script this big, this big, a why that how you got your numbers to that low payment on the phone you just don't do that i mean if you can't tell the customer okay it's forty eight hundred dollars down another twelve hundred dollars drive off and and that's you have to you have to be qualified to, to get factory rebates and all these rebate offers and all this garbage 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 in garbage out here's a challenge dealers why can't you advertise just with your personalities without having to put terms and agreement at the very bottom of it. If you, have to, if you have to put a disclaimer on your ad, consumers don't buy from that dealer. Now that's how you go buy a new vehicle. That is exactly how you go buy a new vehicle. Now dealers, my business is to train you. If you've learned anything from this video, it should be that everyone's shopping you. You have to understand that you're being shopped. So when you call back that customer, which it should be right away from when they contact you, no matter how they contact you, whatever digital platform they contacted you on, if they contact you, telephone, whatever, be prepared to close the deal. Close and close and close. And have some energy because people buy from energy. People love energy. People don't want to talk to dull people. You know what? The next time you go out and close a car deal, have a smile on you, make them laugh, and make some money. Now, go close something. Yeah.